Welcome in everybody. In this video, I'm going to create the rod guide. And to do that, I'm going to go up to new and then new. I'll go to English standard create. I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this um, XZ plane here. You rotate it 90. I'm going to start off drawing the base with a rectangle. I'm going to use the two point center option. So I'm going to start at this, the origin here with the green dot and just kind of click that and drag it out. And so this bottom down here has a, a width of three. Hit the tab and then that side has a two inch side. Press tab, press enter. And then I'm going to create the fillets. So those, um, I'm gonna click the fillet up here and I'm gonna give that a radius of 0.25. And then I'm just gonna click the sides here, these two sides, those two sides, here and here, here and here and then hit the X there. So I did those first so that those, now I got the center point of where those circles are gonna be located. So I'm gonna go up to the circle, I'm gonna go to the center point option, and then I'm gonna click on this dot here. That's gonna be my center point. Um, the diameter of those circles are 0 0.25. I'm gonna go to the next one, 0.25. Next one, I'm just going to do these for all of these four corners, 0.25. Here again, 0.25. And then I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this surface straight up, and that has a, a height of 0.75. Press OK. Now here, this is where it gets a little different than what we've normally done. So we're going to create a work plane that's kind of angled. So what I'm going to do is the book says we're going to go up to view and we're going to change our visual, vis, our visual style to wireframe. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go up to 3D model. I'm going to click on this. Um, where it says work features the plane. I'm not gonna click on the down arrow. I'm just gonna click on the image here. I'm gonna click on this plane. And then over in the browser area, I'm gonna open up this plus sign next to the origin. And I want to select this XY plane first. So I'm gonna click that. And then I'm gonna select the Y axis and then for the angle here, I'm gonna give that an angle of 30 degrees and then click on the check mark. So there is our, our kind of our, our angled work plane. I think that's maybe the most difficult thing in this part, just because it's simply that we haven't done a lot of that, or at least I haven't. So that's kind of how you do that. And then so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my 2D sketch on this new work plane that we created here. I'm going to go up to um, project geometry. I'm going to click on the image here. I'm going to project that Y axis here. So I'm going to project that one. Click that. I'm going to project this top. First of all, let me go back to my... Uh, my home view so I can see a 3D view. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select this back line here and project that. See it projected that to our, our work plane feature. So now I'm gonna click on this kind of corner area of the, of the view cube so we can kind of get back to looking at this work plane kind of head on. So then I'm just gonna use my, my line tool to basically kind of draw the shape for that, that top. Um, feature. And so looking at it, I'm going to kind of start somewhere over here and kind of just kind of draw the shape that's in the book, kind of do something like 
this, come up. And that's symmetrical on this side here. I'm gonna try my best to kinda just recreate this. I'm not really worried about the dimensions at this point. I'm gonna come down on the top. That's, that's at an angle, that's okay, I can fix that. So I'm gonna click a line here to, here to close that off. So to fix this angled line, I'm gonna go up to vertical constraint. Nope, because this is rotated different, I'm gonna go up to horizontal constraint and just click this line and that straightens it out. Um, and then I can start adding dimensions onto it. So um, from here to here is 1.5. Let me move this thing over. Um, what else can we dimension? We got the top to here. That height is, uh, what is that, 0. 0.75. And then um, this height is 0.25. This height here is also 0.25. This leg here is 0.25. All right, so, and then it's also, it's the same um, kind of dimension on, on the other side. So. What I want to do is I'm going to dimension from this center line here to the end. I'm going to I'm going to click it for my dimension, and the, what I'm going to do is I'm instead of typing in what the dimension is, I'm going to click this dimension here, and I'm going to say divided by two. So no matter what this dimension is, it's going to divide that in half. So it gives us. Um, kind of equal on both sides. Um, let's see what I need to do. I need to, uh, I could make this collinear. So I'm gonna go up to this collinear constraint. So I'll make this and these collinear and this and this, they might already be, they are, so I don't need that. Um, then I need to dimension from here to here. That's gonna be 0.25. And so we are fully constrained here. I could, I might could, um, I'll just leave that. I was gonna do, I was gonna erase that middle line there, but I'm just gonna leave that. Um, what I wanna do now is I'm gonna create an arc. I'm gonna use the center point arc. And so I'm gonna start at the center point of this line or the midpoint. So where that green dot is, I'm gonna click it. And I'm gonna start my arc at this corner and it's gonna go all the way over to this corner. Boom, like that. And now I can get rid of this line here. And I need to draw a circle from the center point of this, um, the arc that we created, drag it out. That's gonna be 0.75 diameter, like so. And I'm gonna finish my sketch. I'm gonna look at a 3D view. So then I'm just, I'm going to extrude both sides, but I wanna do it um, symmetrically. So it's even on both sides. And then that has a depth. Let me see what that is. That's gonna go back one. Has a distance of one here. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And then let me turn my view back to a solid kind of shaded with hidden edges so we can kind of see what's going on. So there we got, we almost, we're almost done with this. So I'm gonna turn this visibility of this work plane off. So it's this one here, my, I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna uncheck the visibility. What we need to do now uh, is to create a hole that goes right on top in the center and it goes down um, the thickness of this top surface here. So I know the book says one way, but what I usually do, what I, what I would do for this case is I'm gonna go up to, click on my 3D model, and I'm gonna go to the plane, the work plane, I'm gonna click this down arrow 
and where you see tangent to surface and parallel to plane, I'm going to use that option. So I'm going to click here. So it's going to be tangent to this flat surface here and then parallel to this top kind of half circle. So I'm going to click that. And so that creates a work plane that sits right on top of that kind of half circle. So then I can start my 2D sketch on this plane. And all I need to do now is just create a circle, the center point. And my center point is going to be right where this green dot is here and drag it out. And that has a, um, let me see, let me turn my page. What is that diameter? That diameter is going to be 0.25. And then what we need to do is we're going to finish that sketch. We're going to, let me turn this work plane off. I'm going to right click, check the visibility, uncheck it. I'm going to extrude this, this circle here. I want to cut and then I'm going to use the far right option, which is to next. So it's going to extrude until it gets to the next kind of feature, which is that opening there. So I'm going to click the to next. And then hit OK there. And you can kind of see that that hole kind of goes all the way through that kind of top ring there. But it doesn't continue on any further than that. So there is our piece. Um, I'm going to save this as Rod Guide. Rod Guide, the way that they do it. G-U-I-D-E. And then I'm going to go up and fancy up my view here, my view. So shade it with edges, add shadows. You can add reflections if you want. I might leave out the reflections. Um, for the ground plane, nope, I'll leave that alone. Um, for the lighting, I'm gonna click on photo booth. And it, let's see, it doesn't have us specify a specific specify a specific it doesn't have us choose a, a material so not that i can see so i'm just going to use my normal smooth ivory like so and yeah i'm going to save this again so there's our rod guide and then we're going to we're going to go and put this on a on a drawing sheet and put all the views and all that good stuff. But we'll do that in the uh, we'll do that in another video. All right. So I hope that helped you out and make sure you like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you all later. Peace.